Hey guys, Dr. Badu here. Um, so I've been waiting for a while to see how things are going to pan out before I speak on this whole Dede Ayu matter. And um, I've been watching um, the internet and seeing everybody. Dede is done. Dede is done. Let me tell you, Dede Ayu is not done. Dede Ayu goes beyond playing on the pitch. He's a captain. And some of you, if you don't understand who a captain is, you you lead the players on the pitch and off the pitch. If you really understand football quite well, you could see or you would see that it was the coach that was to be blamed and not not they did not any of the players. The coach misread the, the, the field of play. The coach got everything wrong. I don't know what confused him. I think it was his first ever African um, Afcon where he doesn't understand the passion the players play with. He doesn't. He doesn't understand the mentality of the game. Afcon is different from from World Cup, and that's what they said. It's different from World Cup. It's it will you will be shocked. And so far, we're seeing the might the big teams are going out because you see the lesser teams, the lesser players are now discovering that all they have is this. The the and if I was a coach, right, <clears throat> this is what I tell the team, the lesser team. Look, all these players you guys are playing, they play in Europe. They're big boys. They're making so much money. You guys are not making it, nothing. If you let them override you, you are useless. That's all I had to tell my players to go on the pitch and finish any 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 team. Look at South Africa and Morocco. Now, what happened on that day? The day are you got a penalty? And people are saying, oh, he's finished because he got a penalty. How about the goals we got? We also got that through a penalty. It was from an error. Somebody made a mistake. And mind you, Dede was defending. He came back, defended. When Dede came onto the pitch, he came to keep order. He came to keep control. Everybody relax. Let's finish it off. Okay. So he concedes the first um, um, penalty, which is 2-1. The main person that messed us up is Richard Ofori. Not Dede Ayu. And believe you me, Dede also proved it when he went back to his team and scored two goals, regardless of the time he came in. Because you see, playing in Europe is quite easy. You got it. You know, it's easy. The coach reads the game and he tells you, go and stand here because this is where it is. This is where you can score. So go stand there and take your chances. But when it got to um, um, our, our coach, he could not read the game. And that's why players came in and they were confused. I still think the Blast, um, Ghana Black Stars needs Dede Ayu. Um, Jordan did excellent. And we should respect the Ayu family and celebrate them for what. And I loved how Abedi Pele went to pick his sons from the airport. So beautiful. So the day has apologized. And I've seen GFA also apologize. And that's great. Now let's move on. What's next? Um, who's next? Which coach is coming next? Who is influencing it? And GFA, would you guys leave him alone? That's the next question. But 